Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a geometry puzzle. If you like this video, please comment, like and subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications. If you don't like the video, please let me know why in the comment section down below. Let's get started. Two congruent rectangles are inscribed in a semicircle with radius 1 and center y as shown. So let's go ahead and start by naming this side length A and this one B. All right. So from here, we are given the length of SR. So I can just go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem, right? So I can just go ahead and write down this as A plus B quantity squared plus B squared is equal to SR squared, which is 65 over 25. And I can definitely write it as 13 over 5. And then I do have another relationship, which comes from this triangle here, right? And that is going to give me, because that's the radius of the semicircle, so I'll be getting a squared plus b squared is equal to 1. So if I put these two equations side by side or together, basically, uh, let me expand the first one. I should be getting a squared plus b squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to 13 over 5. Now I know that this is equal to 1. I'm going to go ahead and subtract that from the uh, 13 over 5, which is going to give me 8 over 5. So I get another equation like this. And what I can do here is actually uh, I can isolate the b squared here as 1 minus a squared. And b is going to be the square root of that, right? Okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and do those replacements. I'm going to replace b squared with 1 minus a squared and the b with square root of 1 minus a squared. And the whole thing is going to equal 8 over 5. If I subtract 1 from this, from both sides, and, you know, just go ahead and uh, write, the, write it this way, 8 over 5 minus 5 over 5 is going to be 3 over 5. And now what I'd like to do is isolate the radical here and square both sides. That's what I'd like to do next, okay? If I do that, uh, I'll be getting something, uh, you know, nicer, right? Let's go ahead and see how that goes. Um, I'll be squaring both sides. This is going to give me 4a squared times 1 minus a squared. And this should give me a to the fourth plus 6 over 5a squared plus 9 over 25. So I'd like to multiply everything by 4. Um, actually, not 4, 25. Let me go ahead and distribute this first. Okay, I'm going to be getting this one. And then obviously, I want to clear the fractions here, right? So I'd like to multiply everything by 25. Let's do that. So it's going to give me 100a squared min minus 100a to the fourth is equal to... That's going to give me, uh, on the right-hand side, I'm going to be multiplying by 25 as well, right? So that should be 5 times 6, which is 30a squared, and this should be a 9. Awesome. Let's go ahead and put this all together. I'll get 125a to the fourth uh, from these two, and then uh, minus 70a squared plus 9 is equal to 0. Now, if you uh, do a little substitution here, call a squared u, you should be getting 125u squared minus 70u plus 9 is equal to 0. And if you go ahead and uh, use the quadratic formula for this one, uh, you could probably factor it too, but I'm just going to use the quadratic. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared. So it's going to be 4900 minus 4ac. That's going to give us um, 4500. Awesome. If you do the math. And then this is going to be 250. Okay, let's see how we can simplify this. That's going to be a 400, and the square root of that would be 20, right? And then I'm going to be getting this. From here, uh, what am I going to get? Uh, I'll get two solutions. One of them is going to be 90 over 250, which is 9 over 25. And the other one is going to be 50 over 250, which is equal to 1 fifth. So now what, what we need to do is we need to take the square root because a squared is equal to u. So if a squared is 9 over 25, obviously we're not going to accept negative solutions. So a can be 3 over 5. And from the second one, it can be 1 over root 5, or you can write it as root 5 over 5. Obviously, a squared plus b squared is equal to 1. So from here, if you do the math, you'll get b equals 4 over 5 or b equals 2 root 5 over 5. We're being asked the value of sb. So sb is equal to a plus b. SP can be 7 over 5 or 3 root 5 over 5. Well, that's it for tonight or today or whichever day um, format you're in. You will see you tomorrow in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.